Luis Garcia is pitching today, right? Uh, he's one of those guys in the WBC that, that you know, talk about relievers, maybe these. Like, what's his progression toward when he leaves for the team? I don't know. Ruben does that. Okay. Is, but it's important that he kind of establishes some sort of He's kind of the first guy, right, of our group that's going to pitch in one of these games other than the backfield. So, um, I don't know what it exactly it is leading up until he leaves. Those guys all leave on the sixth, so it's going to be maybe two, maybe three. I'm not sure. Okay. As in the fifth will be their last day to play. Right. What was the discussion yesterday before the eighth inning? You out there with Corey? And yeah. So there's some nuance to some of this stuff and when they're going to stop. Craig Stammen wanted two more pitches in between innings. And the umpire told Knowles only one more, but Craig didn't know that, so he threw two more and they knocked him with a ball. So, and then they had an incident where they went out to the mound, it was a new pitcher, and they thought they were going to stop the clock there, they didn't, so we're just trying to figure out what, what the timing is. You're glad for spring training then? Huh? You're, you're glad for spring training? That yeah, probably won't be the last time you see that. Fernando is still tomorrow, maybe? Tomorrow. Tomorrow. Definitively. So Designated hitter. Asked about it. Then we're going to ask you when he's going to play again. You had said that guys would go two in a row here. Like, how unusual is this? I'm, I'm talking about now, like Manny, Xander, those guys are right. all going. Just, you want to get them ready, or you want to see them, you want them to get comfortable with the rules. What's the. That and they're going to the WBC, yeah. so I'm trying to get them comfortable with the rules before they go to WBC, and they want the at bats. So they're even getting at bats on the backfield on the days they're not playing. You know, with this seeming like long spring, usually I would go every other day with them, but all these guys want at bats. Let's talk some about like teams having solid off seasons, and often like that doesn't doesn't always translate to the season. This, I mean, this team would seem to have addressed like most of what you wanted to get done during the off season, including potentially something that could happen soon. What, what do you what do you take of like a, of, like, of a something that could happen soon? <laughs> Is that a riddle? Yeah. Most of us. You mean Tatis? No, uh, Manny. Oh, yeah, I got. <laughs> thought we were already done with that. That's right. Um, how, I guess how do you how do you ensure how do you ensure that the expectations and all that, broadly speaking, translate onto the field and the focus stays where it is? We got to perform, right? But the expectations are what they are because of what we've created here. You know, not only what we did last year but the players that we brought in. So naturally those expectations are gonna be there. We understand that, we're, we feel good about it because it means we're in a, in a good position. We have high expectations for ourselves, but kind of the rhetoric for our guys is we don't really worry too much about what anybody else says. We just worry about what our expectations are. Is that first WBC group moving on that first? Time? So Kim's last game is today. Then the next is Bogarts and Sullivan, I believe on the first. And then the, the rest of them, I think, are on the sixth. Bogarts, Sullivan play on the first, and then they leave. I believe so. Yeah. Okay. Is Kim leaving tomorrow then? Kim's actually on a plane tonight after the game. I feel like Kim's tweaked his swing a little bit in the offseason. What, what do you make of the changes today? Look, I, everybody tries to get better, right? So, you know, it's he's. He's, he did a lot of work on what he thinks he needs to do to improve um, in concert with, you know, Flash and the hitting group. So he's trying to just become a better hitter. And, you know, you've seen him hit, what, 30 home runs in Korea. Um, kind of where he's hitting the ball, giving it a little bit more chance. I know he wants to hit a few more home runs. but. You know, some of the, you look at the pop-up rates last year, maybe a little bit high. So maybe trying to stay on some balls, which he stayed at, you know, got on top of a fastball yesterday. Um, but just trying to, just trying to get better.